Work at a pizza place is a game that needs no introduction, as it is one of the oldest games that is still relevant to this day on Roblox. It's literally 14 years old. This is how Work at the Pizza Place looked like in 2008. And this is how it looks like today. How did we get here? To answer this question, we have to go back to 2007. Dude One, the creator of Work at the Pizza Place, created his account on October 27, 2007. He is the 82,471 user on this platform. But he has an alt account created on 9th October, just 16 days before his main one. He hasn't been online on his alt for 2 years now. He's the man behind famous games, such as Mega Miners. This is how his avatar looks like today, in 2022, and here's how it looked like in 2007. In early November of 2007, Dude One released Work at the Krusty Krab, which is the predecessor of Work at the Pizza Place. The game is pretty self-explanatory, you work at the Krusty Krab, taking the role of Squidward, Mr. Krabs, Spongebob, Manager, and Dishwasher. The game was pretty successful, as it hit 15,000 visits by the end of 2007. Work at the Pizza Place wouldn't probably exist nowadays if the game wouldn't get taken down in early to mid-2008. There is only one recording of the game I was able to find, which I have to thank Flexible Banjo, who runs the Roblox Archive channel. The recording shows us both the only footage, probably, of the game, but also some of the first footage of a hacked Roblox server. Fun fact time! An updated and modernized clone of the game is present in Work at the Pizza Place, under the name of Work at the Burger Place. To access it, you have to go behind House C1 and walk a little while, until you see a miniature Krusty Krab. Once you go near it, you will get teleported to it. Work at the Pizza Place was created on March 28, 2008, but was a few different games before becoming what it is today. From around early to mid-2008, it was under the name of Script and Build Lab. Then, in around mid to late 2008, it was renamed to Next Generation Planes, and then just Lab, near the end of 2008. And finally, it became Work at the Pizza Place in January of 2009. The game was pretty different from what it looks like today, but the mechanics were the same. The order room was the most different, as instead of tables on the sides there were couches, it was smaller and there were telephones on the counter. The telephone was a feature back then that would be used by players to order pizza directly to their houses. Instead of cars you would deliver pizzas using horses, that you would operate by using the horse tool. You never spawned owning a house, instead you would have to go and press a button that said own this house. Also, there was an NPC just standing on the veranda that you would touch when you had to deliver pizza. The game saw big success, as after not even a few months of being released, it had 276,000 visits. Now to put that in perspective on how much this meant back in early 2009, the game was the 22nd most visited game on the entire platform. In mid-2009, horses were removed, which did one replaced with cars, because he thought horses were too primitive. You can now finally style your house with furniture. To buy furniture you had to chat shop while being on break. This would open a shop from which you could buy a golden statue for 300 money, a large bed for 150 money, a piano for 111 money, a large couch for 100 money, a table for 60 money, a small couch for 75 money, a lamp for 50 money, and a bookshelf for 30 money. You would receive the furniture you bought in your backpack, and you could go and place it wherever you wanted inside your house. In mid to late 2009, Work at the Pizza Place hit 1 million visits. In 2010, the game pretty much just doubled its visits, going from 1.5 million to 3 million total visits. Now, it was the 7th most played game on Roblox, and had passed Sword Fights on the Heights, which is a game that pretty much needs no introduction. The pizza was now finally round, which is the most important update ever and you can't change my mind. The order room was changed to something similar to what it looks like today. The game was starting to morph into what it is like today already. The dump was added, which at the time was a place to buy furniture, so the old shop was disbanded. During 2011 and 2013, updates kinda slowed down and this took a hit in the game's visits, as in mid-2013, the game was now the 20th most played game. 
2014 would be the year it would climb back up, reaching 10 million visits in January, then almost 30 million in December. This year, the weird character standing on your veranda got removed, along with the telephone. Near the end of the year, Work at the Pizza Place was part of the Holiday 2014 event. In this event, you could earn the Joypool Bell Helmet by taking 5 orders, cooking 5 pizzas, boxing 5 pizzas, and delivering 5 supplies. The item is limited now and sells for 1191 Robux right now. Also, Work at the Pizza Place was featured on a Roblox series called Roblox Game Reviews by Max. And uh This program was brought to you by Builder Brothers Pizza, not affiliated with Freddy Fosbear's Pizza in any way, shape or form. 2015 was also a pretty good year for Work at the Pizza Place, as the game gained a total of 65 million visits, going from 30 million to almost a hundred. The game would be part of many events, such as the Teen Titans Go event, where you could earn the Robin mask by finding Tiny Robin, the Disney Infinity event, where you could earn the Pizza Place hat by delivering pizza 30 times in a single server, and the Block Stabber 2015 event, in which you could earn the Nerf Bandana by finding a tiny zombie. Also, Zubers were added, which are basically pets. After 2015, Work at the Pizza Place would enter what I consider its modern era, with all the old features being replaced with new ones such as the old pizza conveyor and the old pizza branding. The game would go on to hit 100 million visits in January of 2016 and then 1 billion on October 11th, 2018. It is the fourth game on Roblox to ever hit 1 billion visits and the first game to ever hit 100 million. Also, in 2018, the Maze of Terror would be added, which is a tradition coming every year in October. However, the Maze was cancelled last year for no reason. The dump would be removed in 2017, then added back in 2019 as a discount store, operated by Mr. Builder. The last event that took place in World Cutter Pizza Place was the Pizza Party event in 2019. In this event, you had to touch pizza that was shot by one of the four launchers. The event itself met a lot of controversy because, well, it kinda sucked. From this point on, no really major updates were added into the game. It's clear that the game went through quite a few changes over the years, going from a SpongeBob game to one of the biggest games on the platform, gaining from 1.5 to 4.5 million visits a month. I cannot wait to see what path it will take in the future and what it will morph into. This was the history of Worker Pizza Place. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.